Good morning and happy Wednesday. Um, I'm gearing up to film a sit and spin before I go to work today. Y'all, these mornings, these mornings. Um, I had a bit of a rough start getting out of bed and I actually thought about just laying there and not doing it. So then I was just like, no, like, anyways, I got, in, I got in my own head. It's not that like tired or energy or level or anything. I got in my own head about it. Um, I was watching Kayla at the Marissa Made podcast and she had echoed a sentiment that was shared by the We Grow Wild podcast, which I'm also like blanking on her name and I feel so bad, but I've been watching both of their vlogmases and they, they were saying there's something about like these vlogmas videos are not going to get the same video, same views that my, my, my podcast episodes get. And I don't expect them to get the same views that the podcast episodes get. They're a very specific type of format. Um, but I do feel like I'm finding my community here. I do feel like the people who show up for me every day are just like, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more comfortable in the vlog. You guys are seeing a little bit more of my personality, um, seeing a little bit more of the madness that lives in the dome. Um, and it's just been really joyful, but I got in my head about it and I was just like, no one's watching these. Who are you making these for? And that's not true. There are a bunch of people watching these. And even if people aren't watching these, I'm making them for me. So I got in my head about that. I got out of bed. I got showered. I got dressed. We we're going to record a sit and spin. Um, and then I'm going to head to work. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're, I don't even know what day you're watching this anymore. I'm not going to say I hope your day's off to, I do hope your day's off to a great start. Whatever day you're watching this, I was going to say, I hope your Wednesday's off to a great start. You're probably not going to watch this till Friday. If you watch it the day it comes out, um, I hope whatever day you're celebrating, your day's off to a great start. Um, I woke up and I had, like I'm having a full on breakout, breakout, which means either my period is coming or I'm having a stress response to something. I'm trying not to be mean to my skin, um, which is why I'm skipping makeup and all that other stuff. I'm just gonna let it be. I might fill in my eyebrows though. The wicked sister, the wicked sister needs to be tamed. All right, I gotta get going or I'm gonna be late. I, oh my God, story of my life, right? Literally story of my life. Okay, we are walking. I have my silly short cap on again. Um, and I actually have my headphones with me because uh, book club is at six o'clock and I still have two hours left in my books. And I normally don't wear my noise canceling headphones outside. It just seems wildly unreliable and silly uh, to be wandering the streets of Brooklyn with noise canceling headphones on. But I'm really trying to get through this book. So I have a 20 minute walk to work. We'll see if I can get through. 20 minutes before I start it and get distracted and then I'm gonna try to like power through as much of it I might have to listen to it at like two times speed to try to get through as much of it as I can before book club but happy Wednesday y'all I hope you guys are having an excellent day Target trips will perpetually get me into trouble because I will inevitably come home with something I don't need. So, happy Thursday. Um, we are opening day one of the silly 15 days of socks situation that I did not need that I came home with. And here are the day one socks. I wonder if I could like pop this open with one hand. I'm trying to do this one-handed filming situation. Okay, here's the day one socks. They are, uh, I think these are Toy Story. I think these are balls and, now is it warm enough for ankle socks? Alexa, what's the weather? Oh my goodness. 
that? No, the robot is always trying to give me extra things besides what I asked for. Um, I'm gonna wear these. I'm not sure that it's warm enough for ankle socks, but I'm gonna wear them anyway. Um, so here's day one of my silly sock situation. I'm So honestly, I did need socks, I'm not gonna lie. Um, did I need 15 days of Advent socks? No, but I have them and I'm excited about them. And now we have another thing to open daily. so late and I am so tired and you can probably hear my husband snoring um, from our bedroom which if you can I'm so sorry I literally went in there and tried to wake him up twice to get him to stop snoring um, and he has not budged which means when I finally go to bed we're gonna have to wrestle so I can get him to roll off of his back to stop snoring so I can get some sleep Joshua snores this badly when he sleeps on his back and if I can get him off his back 
he might stop snoring long enough for me to fall asleep. Um, we'll see. But yeah, if you can hear that, I'm sorry. But I realized that I did not like really pop on in front of the camera the whole day and say anything. I had like sat down to edit the footage and I realized that one, this is going to be the shortest vlog that I've put up. Uh, well, I'm not going to say of the month because this is only halfway through the month and they might get shorter. This is the shortest vlog that I've put up so far. Um, and it's also just a bunch of clips. It's just a bunch of clips. It's clips of me at Target. It's clips of me at work. It's clips of me at book club. It's clips of me at Yoseka. It's clips of me playing D&D. There's no like really voice work of me like checking in. Um, I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Oh man, this is what I get when I, this is what I get like when I get silly. I don't know why I thought I could just pile my hair up on the top of my head and it would stay there. Um, your girl needs sleep is what I'm, what I'm getting at. I found a hair tie. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So there, so I figured I'd just come on and quickly like talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, because the montage is already edited. So I'm filming this. I'm going to add this to the montage. I'm going to set that bad boy to export and I'm going to go to bed. Um, and then in the morning before I go to work, I'm going to, you know, send it to YouTube. But I'm going to let it do its all exporting thing overnight because I don't need to watch it do that. Um, yeah, but I thought I'd just come on and say hi. Uh, today was a day. Today was a great day, honestly. I mean, work was, work is work. Some days are better than others, and it kind of is what it is. It's the job that I signed up for, right? Um, and then going to Yoseka was a whole treat. And honestly, the trip to Yoseka was so unplanned. Um, I got out of work early enough that I was just like, I could go on an adventure and be home in time for D&D. And when I think those thoughts, that's when I get myself in trouble. It's thinking those thoughts that I have time for adventures that get me in trouble because what I should have done was come home and like read a book. Um, and instead I went on an adventure. I'm not mad that I went on the adventure. The adventure was great, but the adventure was unnecessary. Um, but I was like at work and I was Googling fountain pen stores, Brooklyn, because um, all the fountain pen stores that I've gone to so far were in Manhattan. And I discovered this store called Yoseka Stationery, which is like one of the most well-known stationery stores in like the country. Um, apparently I live in like a fountain pen oasis and I just didn't know. So there you go. Do whatever you want with that information. But apparently I live in a fountain pen oasis. Um, so I decided to take the G train, which I've never taken in my life. I've never had to take the G train. Um, I took the G train. And the funny thing about the G train is the G train itself is about half the size as every other subway uh, subway line so like if if most train lines are like nine cars the g train is like four and so because the train is so short it stops only on the center of the platform and i didn't know that because i've never taken the g train before and i got to the platform and i normally hang out in like the back of the platform i don't know why i do but that's only where i hang out um and then the train came and i literally had to sprint to get on the train because i was at I, there was no train where i was and the doors opened and i was literally like where's the rest of the train and i had to run to get on the train so i took the g train to the wilds of greenpoint which i'd also never been to greenpoint's like next to williamsburg and i've been to williamsburg several times but i've never been to greenpoint and i got to yoseka and it was just it was the most beautiful, uh, tiny little stationery store. Um, the woman who helps me, the person who helps me, because I have no idea. Um, the person who helps me was an absolute delight um, and helped me find all my pens. And by all, I mean the two pens that I wanted. At one point, I was just, I asked her if she had any Twisby Ecos in the rose gold. Um, no, I asked if she had any Twisbys in the rose gold. And she showed up with the Twisby Diamond and the Twisby Eco, both in the white and rose gold and the smoke and rose gold. And gave me four pens and let me choose. And I was just like, person, friend. I think I literally said ma'am. Um, I was like, how am I supposed to choose between, if again, if you know anything about me, rose gold is my favorite metallic and we are always on brand. I had a very hard time picking. I went primarily because I wanted this pen. This is the Olive Caveco Sport and apparently this particular color was limit, limited edition. Um, and green's my favorite color. Apparently the sleepier I get, the motor skills go out the window. Green's my favorite color. So I went primarily because I wanted to see if they had this in store. Um, the only place I found this particular color pen was on Amazon. And as much as I like, listen, Bezos is the devil. And if I don't have to give Bezos money, I try not to. So worst comes to worst, if I couldn't find it anywhere else, I was going to buy it from Amazon. But I figured I would try to find it at like a smaller stationary store first. And I got really lucky because they had it. And not only did they have it, they had it in the fine nib. Um, and the other thing they had that I was trying to avoid buying, yo, this bun, this bun, ma'am. Um, 
that I was trying to avoid buying from Bezos, but I could not find, like I think Goulet was out of stock and Atlas was out of stock. Like I'm sure I could have find it, found it in other places, but the two places I looked for immediately were not in stock and I got frustrated, was I wanted the Sailor Manio ink in the color Shirakashi. And all of the swatches I looked at it made it look like this green brown ink situation and I knew it was gonna be perfect. Um, and I got there, it was the only ink that I swatched. And then I saw that they had the Ferris wheel press inks um, and I tried to swatch, there was one ink that I wanted, which was steeped umber and they were sold out. And I think that was the universe going, Tashiana, you don't need any more inks. You definitely don't need another full size bottle of ink. You know, get you a sample, get someone to give you some. So Fountain Pen Peeps, if any of you have steeped umber in Fer by Ferris Wheel Press, send your girl a sample. I would love to try it. Um, I don't want to buy another full size bottle of ink. That's dumb. So I found my pen. I found my dream ink. I did end up getting the Twisby Eco in the white and rose gold um because I, I did some reading and like there's very minimal differences between the eco and the diamond and i figured i would stick to the eco because there was again minimal differences and then i got another um hobonichi but this is just a notebook it's an a5 notebook because graylin needed a new journal um i was taking notes graylin is my D, D character which if you watch the one where we talk about dungeons and dragons again you would know. I was taking notes for Graylin's campaign on, uh, on my computer because we played through Zoom and I was starting to realize that like because I don't enjoy typing and I use my laptops so I can't really change out the keyboard um, I was taking less and less notes because I didn't enjoy typing so I, I, I switched Graylin back to an analog system so this is Graylin's notebook and I took notes using my Olive Kaveco Sport with Sailor Shirakashi ink in it um, and here was the first page of notes Here's my notes. This ink is beautiful. This ink is beautiful, y'all. The shading on it is so pretty. Um, also, we leveled up to level 19 today. So we finally got out of the Deadlands, which is where we were to kill Graylin's evil uh, vampire patron. So her evil ex-boyfriend is dead. Um, and so we were in the Deadlands. And we were in the Deadlands for about a character year. We got to the Deadlands in January. Not a character year, a calendar. Please go to sleep, Tashi. Um, a calendar year. We got to the Deadlands in um, January of 2023 and we left the deadlines today. And not only did we go to leave the deadlines today, we went on vacation. Um, my DM Randall designed this beautiful fictional beach called the Opal Peninsula. And my character and my really good friend Judy's character had like a romantic night in like a beachfront hotel. Um, and there were all of these like visuals of like the seaside scape. And then Randall put on like, um, we play with like music and stuff in the background and he put on um, the sound, like it's like white noise, like ocean sounds. And I full on cried. I started crying because like I take my characters very seriously and Graylin has had such a rough time in the Deadlands. I mean, in game time, it's been about a month, but it's been about a month of nonstop her life being in danger every single day. And to get to, and the reason we went to the beach is when we, when we started going to the Deadlands, uh, Graylin would tell Cinna, it's okay. We're gonna survive this and one day we're gonna to go to the beach. And it was just a thing that I said to Judy, like Graylin said to Judy, to, to Cinna, to like get us through the tough moments. But I never thought we were gonna to get to the beach. I didn't think Randall was gonna let us go to the beach because we were in the freaking deadlands. Um, and so if I didn't think we were gonna to go to the beach, Graylin definitely didn't think we were gonna to get to go. This bun, this bun. Graylin didn't think we were gonna to get to go to the beach. And then we got to go to the beach and I cried. I cried real tears. Graylin also cried, but I cried real tears. And then Judy started crying and then Frank, and we were all crying on Zoom. Um, Cause it was just, it was just real. Also remember how I said this was gonna be the shortest vlog that I put up? No, it's just gonna be me talking to the camera for a half hour while my husband snores. And I can't do that, I need to go to bed. So anyways, we did D&D. &D. I have a page full of notes for Graylin. Uh, we leveled up to level 19 and Graylin is multi-class into Paladin and Warlock. So I have to decide um, which level I'm going to take. Cause there's no way she gets an ASI. Like if I, I we're, we're going to 19 and then 20, there's no way I can level her up that I still get. An, a an ASI is an ability score improvement. So every four levels in D&D, &D, you get an ability score improvement or a feat. Um, she has a 12 flat, she has a 13 five split. So like I'm not gonna get an ASI. So I gotta just I gotta look at the level 14 paladin features and the level six warlock features and try to decide which one I want more because we're heading into the end game and in the end game we get to kill a god. So I gotta make sure your girls are uh, prepared to survive. You know killing a god because there have been assassins out for her blood since we started playing this game because she made a god very angry. Um, 
You see how mouthy I am? Imagine playing D&D with me where there's zero consequences. I get myself and my characters and my table in trouble all the time. So Greylin mouths off and there's been assassins out for her blood since the beginning and eventually she's gonna have to kill a god. That's how the campaign ends is we kill a god. So uh, I got a noodle and I have until next Thursday to decide. So I guess when I decide what I do with my character, I'll let you know. But that was that. I did want to show you an update on my traveler shawl. Um, this episode is going to be called Traveling with the Traveler Shawl because I've taken the shawl everywhere with me for the last two days. Um, and the amount of progress I've made on this traveler shawl in the two and a half days since I cast it on makes no sense to me. Um, so this, this shawl, I was trying to explain to someone, I told them that this shawl felt like white noise and I don't think that was the best way of explaining it. Um, it is the perfect amount of stimulation for my overstimulated brain right now. Um, I have a few projects that are just stuck in it in the round. Um, two of my test nits are just stuck in it in the round that I need to, you know, continue working on. Um, one of the test nits is just too hard for it, for me to work on. I just don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the energy. I don't have the focus. I don't have any of the things that's required to do complex knitting right now. Um, so one of my test nits is too hard. And two of my test nits are just stuck in it in the round, so they're just too easy. And then my sixth season is just stuck in it in the round, which is just, it's not stimulating enough. So I'm in this weird place where I'm not stimulated enough by some things and I'm too stimulated by other things. And Megan at Kimchi & Co. put up an Instagram post today about like the percolating stage of crafting. And I think that's where I am. I'm percolating and I'm cooking and I'm daydreaming um, and I'm noodling about a bunch of things. And because my brain is going a mile a minute, I need to be engaged, but I also don't have enough bandwidth to focus on something too complex. I hope that is making sense. Um, again, this is Vlogmas, so you're getting like a really intimate look into... Also, F before we continue, I realized that I wore this shirt yesterday. I tend to wear my clothes two or three days in a row. Um, this is going to go to wash today. But most of the time, I only have my clothes on for 20 to 30 minutes. The 15 minutes to work and the 15 minutes back. And laundry requires so much water and it seems really wasteful to put something in the wash after I've only had it on for a half hour. So... If you see me wearing the same shirt multiple days in a row in these Vlogmas videos, I, that's, not a, that's, not, that's not an accident. I literally take my clothes off when I come home. Um, I don't put them in my bedroom because I've been, you know, in the filthy OR. Um, I tend to just leave them outside, probably by my desk most of the time. And then when I get up the next day to get dressed, I put on the same clothes. Because um, I'm literally just going to work and then stripping and putting on my scrubs. So... I only bought this sweater after seeing it on my girl Kayla at the Marissa Made podcast. Uh, the, the the levels of obsession I have with Kayla are unprecedented. Um, I, I bought this after seeing Kayla at the Marissa Made podcast wearing it. It, I mean, we got it from the devil Bezos, but how cute it is. And I know you're like, Sasha, you're wearing a spooky season shirt in December. When you live that witchy life, it's spooky season year round. I'm just going to say, when you, when you, you know, you make magic the way I do, it's spooky season year round. So yes, I am wearing the same shirt that I wore yesterday. Um, what was I saying? So I needed something that was stimulating enough, but not too stimulating. And this came in right on time. The other thing about this is I don't like knitting stock in it flat. And this is teaching me that I don't mind pearl rows. It's just, I don't like being bored. And this is not boring. Now I will say it took me uh, five repeats to remember what the repeat is. The first five repeats, I had to knit it with the pattern. Um, and then I did have to frog a few rows because I like screwed up the pattern while I was trying to memorize it. I now finally have it memorized. Um, and one of the things I love about the name of this pattern is because I'm using scraps of hand spun from projects that I've already worked on, it feels like a record of all the places that I've traveled and all the places that my yarn has traveled. Um, so it's a traveler shawl that's a, 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 a just a memento of all the places that my yarn has been. So this down here, um, now I know this is not for everybody, right? This is going to be a very scrappy shawl and there are a lot of people planning very intentional spins for this and to that, kudos to you baby, do what feels good. You're on your own journey, do what feels good. I'm going to need a very scrappy shawl until I run out of scraps and then I will spin a yarn and finish it off. Um, I am on repeat... I have 26 pearl bumps, so I'm on repeat 13, and you have to do 19 repeats. So, you know, making steady progress. Uh, but down here, this down here is the leftovers from my laneway pullover, and then this down here is some leftovers from a hat, 
and then this down here is also leftovers from a hat so this is this is my combo spin of overcast and hush stillness on bfl by three waters farm this is my uh wildwood by spin delicious this is meadows and mist by crafted by lcb and then this appears river rocks by created by locals and this is leftovers from mittens that i knit for my sister and i gave to my sister um so here's my scrappy traveler shawl so far i god i love it i love it so much now listen i get that it might not be for everyone right like i understand from far back the colors do blend like the further back i go the colors blend and they marry together a lot more but closer up it does look very like scrappy and stripy i like that and also it just means a lot to me that i'm using leftovers from projects that are places i've already been this knitting this is great um, I do like that I'm engaged enough because I have to remember, like I have to look at my knitting and just go, am I knitting a pearl row? Am I knitting a, a knit row? What am I doing here? Um, I love the pearl bumps. I love the texture. When this blocks and this opens up, this is going to be so stinking pretty. Um, I love it. Now again, I know that it's not going to be for everyone. And I know some people are, are going to have very strong feelings about my color choice hair and they could eat it because it's my shop and I get to do what I want with it. So yeah, that's it. I can't believe I sat here and I chatted for like 15 minutes. I was literally gonna sit here for like five minutes and say like three words. Um, and then I started talking and I didn't stop talking. But that's it, happy Thursday. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the already edited footage, set it to export, um, take my cute little tush to bed because it is very late. Um, and I'm clearly just falling apart on camera and you guys get to watch. So, you know, welcome to Vlogmas. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, these comments the comments have been really affirming and really gratifying and bringing me a lot of joy and really like helping me commit to doing this like, there are a lot of people who are telling me that like I've been creating a safe space with this vlogmas um, and I've been giving them something to like look forward to and, and I'm not gonna lie I'm, I, I am a deep Scorpio there's a Scorpio stellium in my chart a lot of that does appeal to my vanity to my innate vanity and my innate need to be validated by the things that I produce uh, I'm an Enneagram 3 and I'm the most three to ever three so a lot of this does appeal to my vanity and to my need to produce va uh, validating content um, but also it just means a lot to know that I'm sitting here and I'm making this for people and it's landing exactly the way that I wanted it to land so yeah thanks for watching um, I can't believe we're halfway through the December already. Happy season of Starlight. Um, all jokes aside, I hope I hope that this season's bringing you exactly what you need right now. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.